There are hundreds of AI video generators out there right now, but there are only four that actually deserve to be called the best. I know this because I've spent the last few weeks testing every single one of them, trying to figure out which generator is actually the best. And the outcome really surprised me. They all claim to do the same thing, create videos, but one does it on a completely different level. In this video, I'll be testing all four generators using the exact same prompt, comparing how they perform and showing you which one's actually the best for you, along with one tool that lets you use all four of them, plus several other top models under a single subscription. The tool that lets you access all of these models is called OpenArc. And the reason I use it is simple. OpenArc gives you access to all the AI video generators we're testing today, along with many others, all inside one simple platform. It makes the whole process way easier. Instead of having to jump between different websites and paying for each subscription separately, everything is right here in one place. So with that being said, when you first log into OpenArt, you'll want to head over to the video section on the left side right here. Then go into the text option, and here we'll select our first tool, the one that's basically taking over the internet right now, Sora 2. Now Sora 2 really stands out when it comes to realism. It has insane physics consistency and just really good realism and quality, especially compared to some of the older models. That's why I really recommend using it for cinematic B-roll. You can also experiment with product videos in Sora 2 since it's super consistent and great at understanding trends. For example, you can make something like a get ready with me routine or any trendy concept like that and it handles it surprisingly well. As I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to test each model using the exact same prompt, just to see how each one handles it. I'll also run some separate generations for each model afterward. So I'm using this prompt right here. You can pause and read it. It's about a happy clown giving a balloon to a sad clown. By the way, every prompt in this video was made with my custom ChatGPT designed for AI video prompts. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm keeping every setting at the highest possible quality, highest resolution, longest duration, everything maxed out. And this is the result we got back. Honestly, it looks really, really cool. The circus in the background looks spot on and the clowns themselves look incredibly realistic. Their movements have a slightly unsettling quality that perfectly captures the clownish aesthetic. But now I just wanna create something that looks visually pleasing. You don't need to overcomplicate the prompt. I'm just gonna write photorealistic close-up of a tiny astronaut watering a small plant growing on a desk beside a glowing laptop. Then I'm going to select the pro model since that one usually gives the best results. So I'll go with 1080p resolution, eight seconds long and a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Then I'll just click create and let's take a look at the result. As you can see, the video came out looking really cool. The scene looks so realistic. The tiny astronaut genuinely feels like he's standing right there on the desk. The lighting from the glowing laptop blends perfectly with the soft reflections on the astronaut's helmet visor. Nothing looks distorted or fake. Everything just fits perfectly. I especially love how the background looks. It's so realistic that it almost feels like a real workspace captured on camera. Now to show how well Sora 2 handles trendy visuals, I'm taking this serum bottle photo and moving over to the image tab. I'm adding the serum bottle photo and right after you'll see a prompt asking you to pick the aspect ratio. Make sure you fit the image nicely inside the frame lines. For the prompt, I'm just going to write a Gen Z get ready with me video where the person is promoting a serum bottle. I'll use the pro model again and crank the resolution all the way up. For the duration, I'm going with 12 seconds. The reason is that Sora 2 has a minor limitation. It likes to plan out the full video sequence before it starts rendering. That can lead to some weird cutoffs if the duration's too short, especially in videos where someone's speaking or presenting something. Sometimes the person might not even get to finish their line or reach the main part of the video. So I'll set it to 12 seconds, click create, and let's take a look at the result. Okay, let's get ready together. This is the Glow Drop Serum, packed with vitamin C and niacinamide. One or two drops is all you need. It's basically glass skin in a bottle. It melts in so fast, no stickiness, just instant glow. Now my skin- As you can see, the video looks really high quality. The person looks very realistic, and the whole Gen Z get ready with me idea is spot on. You can hear the person talking, and it really feels like one of those TikToks where someone films their morning routine. The product itself looks super realistic too, and there are no inconsistencies with the texture from the photo we imported. Overall, this is a really good tool to use for a bunch of different things, from memes and short social videos to full UGC style ads. But with that being said, let's move on to the newest model in today's lineup. Google VO 3.1. Now Google VO 3.1 is actually better than the previous model in almost every way. First of all, it has much richer audio and way better control over that audio. So you get more natural dialogue and sound effects 
that actually sync with what's happening in the video. It also does a much better job at following your prompts, which basically means it understands exactly what you're asking for and sticks to it more accurately. And finally, there's now a 9x16 resolution option, perfect for vertical reels or TikToks, just like the ones we made earlier with Sora 2. Now, before we dive deeper, let's see how the same universal prompt looks in Google's VO 3.1 model. I'll just select the newest version, which is 3.1, then I'll turn the audio on, set the resolution to 1080p, stick to the 16 by nine aspect ratio, and select normal for the video mode. Here's the result I got, and it's definitely looking really good. Compared to Sora 2, I really don't have much to complain about. Both handled this scene beautifully and produced high quality videos. I personally like the overall aesthetic of Google Vio. It has a slightly darker, moodier tone that really sells that sad and happy clown theme. It makes the whole thing feel more emotional and realistic. So let's go ahead and test VO separately using this prompt right here. A cinematic handheld selfie style video shot showing a young man in ancient Middle Eastern robes with shoulder length dark hair and a short beard holding the camera like a selfie cam. He's inside a dimly lit stone den with rugged cave walls. Behind him, several large lions slowly pace or rest, casting shadows in the flickering torchlight. The man speaks directly into the camera he holds, slightly amused expression as he whispers. He says, all right, welcome to my crib. That one is asleep. He gets grouchy in the mornings. He looks happy as he whispers, as if he knows a secret. He pans the camera to show the lions in the background behind him. The light pours from the cave entrance above that illuminates the dark cave chamber with the lions below. Time of day, day lens, ultra wide selfie lens, shallow depth of field film stock, vintage 35 millimeter documentary style, selfie camera view audio implied, ambient lion growls, background lion sleeping behind the young man. Then I'll click create and take a look at the result. All right, welcome to my crib. That one is, is asleep, he gets grouchy in the mornings. And there are definitely a lot of improvements here compared to the previous model. Now, one thing I really want to point out is that this is the Google VO 3.1 model, not VO4. So don't expect the same big leap we saw between Sora 1 and Sora 2, but it still looks noticeably better across the board. The caveman looks cleaner. The lines in the background are more defined. The colors are richer and the audio quality is definitely a step up. Now let's put Google VO 3.1 to more of a test and try out the image to video option. Here are two images I designed to resemble scenes from the game Temple Run. I'll upload both of them. As you can see, one is from a third person view and the other is from a first person view. For the prompt, I'm going to write this. The man is running through the forest, overcoming different obstacles as the camera follows him and then transitions to his first person point of view. Then I'll select version 3.1, keep the audio on, set it to the highest quality and switch to a nine by 16 aspect ratio since that matches the game style. I'm keeping the video mode on normal and then I'll hit create. And as you can see, the result came out looking really, really cool. Everything from the transition to the sound effects and the environment around the character looks exceptionally good. This really proves that Google Veo 3.1 could actually compete with Sora 2, especially with that end frame feature I just showed you. We're moving on to a model that's much less known than both Google Veo 3.1 and Sora 2 but still really impressive when it comes to quality. That model is called Juan 2.5. Juan has very fine detail, exceptional prompt adherence, and really solid motion and object consistency. And so that means this model isn't just great at visuals. It really understands your prompts and gives you results that line up with what you wanted. Here's how the universal prompt came out with Juan 2.5. The quality is still solid, but it does fall a bit short compared to the first two models. There's less depth in the video overall it kind of feels simpler. Now I'll write this new prompt. For this one, I'm going with a lone cowboy riding through a desert canyon at sunset. Drone tracking shot, camera pans from left to right, cinematic lighting, warm tones, no text overlay, and no distorted faces. I'll set the duration to 10 seconds, pick the highest resolution available, and then click create. As you can see, the video came out looking pretty good. You can clearly see the cowboy, and everything in the prompt happens just like it should, but there's one small issue with the camera movement. It doesn't really pan from left to right. Overall, I'd say that while this generator delivers great quality, it still falls a little short compared to Google VO and Sora. Now let's test it with an image. For this, I'll switch over to the image tab again, which is another thing I love about OpenArt. It's super convenient. You can jump between all these models without even leaving the workspace. Once I've done that, I'll select one 2.5 from the model list right here. 
Now I have this photo of a statue in a forest, so I'll use that and describe it in the prompt. The statue comes to life, looks around the forest for a bit, and then starts walking toward the camera. Cinematic lighting, no morphing, and no distorted faces. I'll set the duration to the highest possible again and click create. And here as well, the overall quality looks just a bit better. It does what the prompt describes and the animation looks nice. There are still small issues here and there, like the hair moving a bit strangely, and overall it just isn't as sharp as the two previous models. The audio quality isn't quite as good. The footsteps don't really match the environment, which slightly affects the final result. If you need something quick and affordable, but still high in quality, then Seadance is a great choice. Seadance has a built-in multi-shot feature which basically means you can prompt it to generate multiple camera cuts and transitions within a single video. It's also pretty flexible when it comes to lighting and visual descriptions. It interprets those things quite well, so it's a great choice when you want quick generations without losing visual quality. Now for Seadance, the result from the universal prompt probably came out the worst of all four. You'll see later that this model can actually produce some really strong results, but in this particular test, it struggled. There are a lot of inconsistencies. The background looks pretty weak overall, it doesn't blend naturally with the scene, and the motion feels off. The characters move in a strange, almost robotic way, and the happy clown waving the balloons around just looks a bit weird and unnatural, like the motion wasn't captured properly. But now, let me show you some stronger results from Seadance. For the prompt, I'll paste this right here, choose the pro quality setting, set the duration to 10 seconds, and click create. And as you can see, the final result came out looking really good. The quality here is genuinely impressive. The lighting, the textures on the knight's armor, and the overall depth of the scene look stunning. You can clearly see every detail in his cape and the surrounding cliffs. That said, the background could be stronger. Without visible rivers or water sources, the waterfalls on the floating islands look slightly unnatural. Still, overall, it's a visually strong and cinematic shot. Now let's switch over to the image to video section. I'm going to use this image of a sad woman in a bar, and for the prompt I'll write the woman is crying while she is looking at her drink when a man comes over to comfort her. Then I'll click create. Seadance actually does a lot better with simpler prompts. If you stick to a single clear action, you'll usually get the best results. So that's something to keep in mind. As you can see, the video came out really well again. The quality and consistency are both solid. And this model is great for quick creation since it's one of the fastest image to video generators we've tested. So now that we've tested each tool separately and with our universal prompt, let's wrap it up and see which generator really comes out on top. The final two generators, Seadance and Wan, deliver decent results but don't quite match the quality of the first two models. So for that reason, I'm putting them at the bottom of the list with Seadance slightly above Wan. It just offers a bit more flexibility and that multi-shot feature really gives it an advantage for certain types of videos. When it comes to comparing Sora 2 and Google VO 3.1, I have to give the first place to Sora 2. It's just on another level in terms of what you can do with it. The realism, the motion consistency, the detail, it all feels better. Even though the Google VO 3.1 model does have a lot of great features and solid quality, it's not a huge upgrade overall. So right now, in my opinion, Sora 2 still comes out as the best AI video generator. So now you know which AI video generator is the best one out there right now. But honestly, it wouldn't even be possible to test all of these this easily without OpenArt. That's the thing that really makes OpenArt stand out. You don't need to jump between different websites or accounts. You can test every major generator from Sora 2 to Google VO and more all in one place. It keeps everything simple, fast and in one workflow. So if you want to start creating videos with Sora 2 and all the other top AI generators, go ahead and sign up for OpenArt using the link in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.